What is it? I bid you fail, Stark. <laughs> that was a fair you. No human, that's your doom. Is that hand? What is your name? What? You do not recognize me? Oh, Ratatask. Ratatask the mighty. Ratatask whose teeth cut the front of the full jacel of stone. Ratatask, the original doom swirl. <laughs> Those upon my visage a triple. Doom squirrel? The very same. Humans have such poor senses, but 
I knew you would recognize me eventually. So yes, prepare to meet your doom at the hands of Ratatask. Claws of Ratatask. That is, claws of doom. Claws that shall pierce your skin and spill your blood in the forest. <laughs> Why do you want to doom me? Well, oh, the stupid human asks me why. I am the bringer of Ragnarok. With these very teeth, I gnaw through the branches and roots of Uthra's seal until the world tree shall fall. Oh, yes. Uthra is but an upstart. Been real, an amateur. It has been prophesied that I, Ravidask the Doom Squirrel, shall herald the Twilight of the Gods. So, how exactly is my doom at hand? I shall poke out your eyes with my sharp, sharp tail. I shall hide all the acorns you are pulling for winter. I shall bite your bones and gnaw on your marrow. You cannot even reach my eyes. Oh, do not act so tough. Whenever you walk underneath a tree, you know that Ratatask may be lurking on the branches of God. Right. Pounce on you. Ratatask. The doom scroll. Aw, such a cute little squirrel. Little? Oh. No, I'm not cute. I am evil and misshapen and vile. Leave me alone. Be well, puny human, for I shall do back for you. Your doom shall find you. What is your name? What happened to you? Can you get up?
I thank you for aiding me. Had some hostile creature come by. I may have been in trouble. You are welcome. I am Sigurd, son of Sigmund, protector of Munavagir and keeper of the Skyfar Inn. You are not from these places. What is your name? You are in my debt for saving you. I have not forgotten. This is the Skyfar Inn. You are welcome to stay here as long as you please, and to share food at my table. I bid you welcome to Manavagir. I thank you. Can you tell me who attacked you? Uh, it was a two-headed troll by the name of Revaldi. When I meet him again, I shall crush his skulls with my blade. Did he want anything? Indeed. The foul troll seeks the eye of Thiasi. Do not ask me more about the eye, for I shall not tell you. Very well. Please tell me about yourself. I am Sigurd, son of Sigurd. Proven warrior, marked by battle, wielder of the blade Nofu, and defender of Munavagir. Tell me about Munavagir. We are a proud city, bastion amidst Yanvagir, and valiant raiders over Yanvagir. Or we would, if Lake Gunvik were not frozen solid with this fell winter. As Warden of the city, I take it as my duty to know all the residents. Tell me about Munarvigir. We are a proud city, bastion amidst Yanvadir. Or we would, as Warden... What can you tell me about the big city? The city of Thornsig Tuna is our chief rival in these woods. Its Jarl, Ilfin the Craven, seeks to place us under his rule. But we stand strong in resistance. What can you tell me of the forest? The endless trees of Yanvidir are dangerous to the unwary, but prove no match for a seasoned warrior. Tell me of the raiders. There are bandits that live in small camps in the forest, to prey on travelers and merchants. The cold is making them more desperate than usual. They have no honor and little fighting skill. I have often seen them use a wild overhead slash that leaves them wide open for a counterattack, if you are fast enough. Have you fought any trolls? Yanvidir is well known for its trolls. They are tough as a wall of bricks, and about equally clever. The leader of the trolls is that two-headed cretin, Frivoli. May force thunder shatter his bones. It is said that a troll only becomes leader by bashing troll heads until none dare oppose him. They should tell you of his strength. I sincerely hope to face him again in battle. What is the Eye of Thiasi? We shall not speak of it. I wish you good health. Aye, you are pondering something. Yes, I believe this troll who attacked you is also after other people. The dastardly creature would do that. Since it came after me, its next target is likely to be Voland, the smith. And why is that? Because he is the strongest warrior in Thornsey Tuna. As I am here, Thank Odin that he has the Jarl's soldiers to protect him. Nevertheless, I shall warn him next time we meet. Do what you must, Traveler. I shall take the time to fortify this town, to keep the troll out. Good for a solid defensive line. Although I prefer the sheer edge of a broadsword myself. We bought these back from our raids last summer. There is no better trophy than one one in fierce back. The majestic deer are almost too regal to hunt. We leave them alone, except for a rare feast ceremony. These hunting horns will be used well once spring returns to us. I have carved them myself.
Good day, traveler. What would you speak of? Do you have a meal for me? I do. For today, my dish is a grilled moose. As we agreed, you shall have my hospitality for free. I wish you good health. Travel safely, stranger. Who is that in here?
good day, Traveler. What would you speak of? There was a thief in my room at night. I am uncertain. While no proven warrior would stoop so low as to steal like a common magpie, I do not think I can vouch for all in this town. There have been many rumors of the thieves' lodge, and only a fool would discount them. They are hiding in Lunavigir, although I know not where. I wish you good health. Travel safely, stranger. Good day, Traveler. What would you speak of? Do you have a meal for me? I do. I shall serve you as we agree. I wish you travel safe. Good day to you. I'm surprised to see somebody new in Manarvagir. Does the thimble winter not make traveling too dangerous? Thankfully, we have more supplies and a lesser population than our cousins in Fornsigtuna. The trade routes are cut off, and we would risk starvation if we were not prepared. What is your name? My name is Sigrun, daughter of Hogni, and one of the leading traders of Manarvagir. I am usually about town in the morning, my store is open all afternoon. Tell me about Munarvagir. Tis our fair village in the heart of Yarnvidir. The weather may be foul, yet the people are friendly. Tell me about Sigurd. Sigurd is the mayor of our fair town, although he dislikes being called that. Indeed I do not. I'm a proven warrior, not some weakling noble. Let people respect me for my deeds, not my title. Have you been to Fornsiktuna? Yes, although not recently. In spring, I shall go visit there again to trade for goods. I am not too fond of the people there. They are too cold, but the city is always a sight to see. Let us speak of the woodlands. I do not go out there to explore, if that is what you mean. There are dangerous monsters out there, so I take an armed escort along to travel safely. But I am not the one to ask. I'm sure one of our resident warriors can tell you more of these monsters. I shall speak to you about that, for I bear the scars of these monsters as they bear mine. I would like to buy some of your wares. Come visit my store when it is open. It is located near the village gate. There was a thief in my room at night. I am an upstanding citizen. I do not concern myself with the likes of that. Suffice it to say that one is far more likely to be robbed on the road or in the forest than twixt the walls of fair Manarvigir. I bid you farewell. It was nice to speak with you. I hope you will stay in Manarvigir with us. Yarnvidir is not safe for one woman by herself.
What am I? A dog? You think I can identify a 